Good morning. My name is Denise Cooper, and I am the founder and president of the Intersource Commons Foundation. And my name is Georg Grütter. I'm the vice president of the Intersource Commons Foundation. And now I have the pleasure to give you a sense of what's going on in the community. And I say pleasure because I get to be the one who says thank you to those of you in the community who have made outstanding contributions since the last summit. So let's quickly talk about our three working groups, starting with the marketing and outreach working group. This working group was established a little less than a year ago, and the purpose of this group is to move the needle when it comes to inner source, so to speak, by promoting inner source success stories, by reaching out and creating awareness in the industry, like, for instance, um, with Finos, the fintech open source community. We've just recently set up a special interest group and will engage with this community beginning in December. The group is also organizing uh, our summits like this one, number 12. And by the way, I'm super stoked that we're finally having our first APAC conference. Yay that. And uh, here you can see how important our summits are in growing our community and keeping it healthy and engaged, measured by our active members on Slack over time. And I'm super happy that we have such a long list of people contributing in the marketing and outreach working group to thank for their contributions. So special thanks go to Claire, obviously, who is the jack of all trades of the whole thing. Our summit organizers, Dimitri, uh, Daniel, Denise, Ada, Jas, Matt, Harish, Mishari, Jerry and Gilherm. Uh, I would also like to thank Sebastian Speer and Johannes Tigges for their contributions in marketing. Um, thanks also go to Tapajit and Klaas Jan for organizing the latest inner source survey and also to Hong Puk Dang for setting us up with Event J. And last but not least, Tencent for sponsoring this summit. Thanks a ton for that. Dimitri and Daniel, by the way, are the trusted committers or TCs for this working group. So you can see we also apply the inner source principles to our own work. And obviously there's still a lot of work to be done and we are always looking for and would like to welcome new contributors on board. Specifically, we're looking for help in making our website GDPR compliant. We'd like to make translations of summit recordings uh, available to the community, especially this time around. And our tech and infra team is always happy to get a helping hand. And if you have ideas for professionalizing our audio and video recordings, uh, those would also be very welcome in the group. If you would like to learn more or would like to contribute, Claire Dillon is the person that you want to talk to. Next up is the Learning Path. The Learning Path Working Group is here to provide an opportunity for anyone to learn about inner source in the format that they prefer. Specifically, the Working Group members are creating short training segments, introducing general concepts behind inner source and diving into specific roles that are used in inner source. As you can see, the community is making great progress towards providing this content in multiple languages. Since the last summit, we now have an Italian version of the introduction, a German version of the trusted committer and a Chinese version of the product owner workbooks. And that leads straight into the thank you section. We'd like to specifically say thank you to Russ, who is driving the learning path group from the very beginning with amazing energy and focus. To Johannes, who joined Russ as a trusted committer and is doing a great job in moving the learning path working group forward. To Tom Sadler, who worked magic behind the scenes and automated the process of updating our website with new translations and contributor info. And to Willem, Piers, Thomas and Pier Giorgio for their translations into Chinese, German and Italian. There's still a lot of work to be done, of course, including translations of workbooks into additional languages, especially German, Italian, and Spanish, captions for our videos so we can properly use machine translation, subtitles in different languages, and of course, we're always looking for new ideas and contributions in terms of new training segments. If you're interested, don't waste any time and get in touch with Russ. Last but not least, our patterns group. The product, so to speak, created by this group is a body of knowledge about inner source best practices in the form of patterns. And those of you who have had a look at what they do on GitHub will know that they are producing an invaluable source of knowledge for all inner source practitioners out there. And patterns 
often originate in discussions in our patterns channel on Slack. So that's a good opportunity for you to join this group and contribute. And it's my pleasure to call out some special contributors and contributions and to say thank you one more time to Johannes, who is driving the patterns group together with Sebastian, to Sebastian specifically for his outstanding contributions in the area of web rendering of our patterns, uh, to Daniel, who worked on the content rendering for the upcoming ebook with Sebastian, to Max, who together with other community members has put together and validated a process that will make the first contribution uh, to the patterns group much easier, to Fei Wan, who came up with an excellent way to visualize and categorize our existing patterns, and last but not least, to Tim, who started this group in 2015 and is still providing valuable advice to the group. And similar to the other working groups, there is work to be done here and the pattern groups welcomes contributions. New patterns, obviously. Keep in mind that we also welcome contributions in the form of donuts, our term for a well-defined problem for which you might not know a solution yet. There are still a lot of patterns that would benefit from a review. And then there are the ongoing efforts to automate the creation and publication of content for which help is greatly appreciated. And if you would like to contribute to this awesome group, don't hesitate to get in touch with either Johannes or Sebastian. Okay, now a little bit of news from the board. The board has um, nine members. All of these people are also members of the organization. So the organization is owned by its members and you become a member by nomination and election in an annual meeting and member appointment is for life or until you decide that you'd like to step down. Um, this is exactly the same pattern as the Apache Software Foundation. And the reason that we set it up this way is it's recognition for people who have worked on the foundation, not just on understanding InterSource for their own uses and their own company, but actually have helped make the foundation a better place. And that's the only criteria for membership other than that you must be elected by the existing membership. These are good people and you've seen most of them involved in the production of the summit. Uh, and so if you run across them either in the um, donut casual meetup coffee break thing or um, just around the playground, definitely say hello and thank them for their service. And um, these are three people who are also members, but they are not serving on the board currently they happen to be our newest members. We vote once a year on new members. We're getting ready to do that again this coming February. These three people will be eligible to serve on the next board if they um, run for election and get elected. And so that's how we keep the organization growing and renewing. It's done at a deliberate pace. These people all had great contributions as well. And so if you aspire to work at the board level with InterSource Commons, the best thing you can do is get involved with a committee. And uh, hopefully you'll have a great experience and you'll want to stick around and do more. And we do love to thank the people that have gone above and beyond the call of duty. So for this edition, we want to thank Cedric Williams, who is our treasurer, who went above and beyond the call of duty and make sure that we got a bank account set up we got stuck uh, without a bank account because COVID didn't allow me to travel back to the United States to set up a bank account. But um, Cedric, you know, ably manned the, the phones to try to figure out where we could do it as soon as I could come over. And, and we did get that done um, between the last uh, summit and now. And then we'd like to thank Isabel Drust from who is a board member for her work to help us regularize board operations and behave more like the Apache Software Foundation in the way that we run the board so that it's not a huge time sink for anybody and we can be very efficient in our board meetings. So thanks to both of you. And um, we look for more great contributions from you and from all the members. Thanks again. Thank you, Denise. Um, if you would like to get in touch with the board, feel free to contact any one of us or drop a line to board at innersourcecommons.org. And that was it. I hope we were able to give you a sense of what's going on in the foundation. And now on with the summit. Enjoy the second day. And as always, may the inner source be with you.